the fall of the Montecito. Oprah unmasks biggest lies after disaster interview with Harry and Meghan. Oprah Winfrey has admitted she was surprised that Meghan Markle went all the way there with allegations of racism against the royal family during her bombshell interview. The TV host, 67, said she had no idea that the meeting would reverberate the way it did, adding the couple wanted to be able to tell their story in a way that allowed them to be as truthful as possible. The tell-all chat with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex aired on March 8, when Prince Philip remained in hospital with a pre-existing heart condition. He died a month later. The explosive interview sent shockwaves through the royal family, with Prince William later speaking out during a school visit to insist the firm is very much not racist. Harry had hinted at a deep-rooted rift between the brothers during his chat with Oprah, saying the relationship was now just space. Time heals all things, hopefully. The brothers made their first joint appearance since the interview at their grandfather's funeral last Saturday, and were spotted chatting animatedly as they left St. George's Chapel. A friend told People that although the meeting was a good start and lovely to see, the rift runs so deep. I don't think there is any quick fix. Oprah reflected on the explosive interview during the launch of Nancy O'Dell's channel on Talkshop Live, where she was promoting her book What Happened to You? Conversations on Trauma, Resilience, and Healing. I had no idea that it would have the reverberating impact it has had and continues to have. I did a lot of preparation for that, she said. When asked if she was surprised that Harry and Meghan were so open and forthcoming in the interview, the TV host admitted that she was. In particular, she said, she was shocked when Meghan claimed there had been conversations with Harry about how dark, Archie's, skin might be when he's born. In the moment, Oprah's jaw dropped, and she paused for a moment before incredulously responding what? A reaction that has since become a meme on social media. I'm like, what? You're going there? You're going all the way there, Oprah said of her thought process at that time. Oprah said that she had only texted with Harry and Meghan before the actual interview, and her only understanding was that they were focused on sharing the truth. Certainly, the fact that no one knew how much the couple would reveal before the interview actually aired. Mew on while, Prince Harry sparked fury in royal expert Angela Levin who questioned the Duke of Sussex's chance of becoming king in the future. Speaking to LBC, she said, what annoyed me incredibly is he said he was in the immediate line of succession. Does he really think he's got a chance to be king when he's behaved like this? The Queen's got to stand up to it. I think she's got to stop him being the Councillor of State and that means when she can't manage or run well, they become stand-ins. On Friday, the first hearing in the case took place at the Royal Courts of Justice in London, which Harry did not attend. At the preliminary hearing, the court heard there was an application by both sides for some parts of the court documents in the case to be kept private. Introducing the case, Shahid Fatima QC, for the Duke, said, This claim is about the fact that the claimant does not feel safe when he is in the UK given the security arrangements applied to him in June 2021 and will continue to be applied to him. She continued, It goes without saying that he does want to come back to see family and friends and to continue to support the charities that are so close to his heart. Most of all, this is and always will be his home. The Duke briefly returned from Los Angeles last year for the July 1st unveiling of the Diana, Princess of Wales Memorial statue and, the day before, on June 30, he met seriously ill children and young people at a well child garden party and afternoon tea in Kew Gardens, West London. It is understood the Duke's car was chased by photographers as he left. Ms. Fatima later said that before the claim was issued the claimant asked the defendant to engage in alternative dispute resolution. Harry is challenging the February 2020 decision of the Executive Committee for the Protection of Royalty and Public Figures, Revec, over his security. A legal representative for Harry previously said the Duke wants to fund the security himself, rather than ask taxpayers to foot the bill. However Robert Palmer QC, for the Home Office, told the court the Duke's offer of private funding was irrelevant. In written submissions, he said, personal protective security by the police is not available on a privately financed basis, and Rivet does not make decisions on the provision of such security on the basis that any financial contribution could be sought or obtained to pay for it.